ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. This is your first time coming across the channel. There's a rep subscribe button. Please press it. We're closing on 10,000 subs. If we get the 10,000 subs by Paddy's Day, I'm one of the happiest man around. Even a comment below on the video, a thumbs up is crucial. Let's talk about Brendan Rodgers, former Celtic manager, considered as a snake to some fans, considered as a legend to some fans. He left the club in 2019, exactly two years ago, during the turmoil times, even though we are on course to win a treble treble at the time. He was back at Celtic Park less than two weeks ago when Celtic were playing Dundee when Abada scored the stoppage time winner. And he played his tribute to the great Win Jansen that sadly passed away recently. A lot of people are like, is he on a scouting mission? Or is he just up to pay his tributes? And I bought into it at the time that he wasn't on a scouting mission. I was, I was like, you know, I was just probably up watching Celtic and that's it. Like, But there's reports coming from one of the most reliable sources in world football, Fabrizio Romero. And he said that Cel Celtic's right back, Josef Vanovic, is being looked at by other clubs. And Leicester are the favourites to put a bid in between 12 to 15 million euros. Brendan Rodgers, Leicester City manager. So what do you think of this? I think it's absolutely absurd for him to even try to approach a player that we saw in the summer. He's played 25 games for us, five goals, three assists. He's played over nearly 3,000 minutes of football as well. And he's a cracking penalty taker. It's been a vital part of our success this season. And we obviously love the fireball TikTok of a one Celtic. And Pitbull obviously retweeted as well. And he put on his Instagram story. But Jovanovic is 26 years of age. We bought him for Lega Was, Bought him from Lega Was off for 2.7 million. How much would you sell him? Now obviously I don't want him to go anywhere. I'm happy with him being at the club. I think he's outstanding. I've done a video on... And his best signing so far for Celtic. And he's up there. A lot of people said Jovanovic is up there. Because he's a versatile player. Even though he's a defensive player. He can play in the wing. He's played left back for us as well. In the fourth third of the season. So. Brandon Rodgers. You can piss off. You're not getting Jovanovic. We want him to play Champions League football next season. When we win this league. And then come back to us. When we have a 25 million price tag on him. And then we might consider selling him. For the time being. He's going nowhere. Transfer windows not open to the summer anyway, so they won't be getting him. And I don't think he's going to go to Leicester because I'm sure Captain Callum is going to have a chat to him and say, Look, at Brendan, Celtic, the reputation, the fans is not there. And I was one of them fans who picked up for Brendan a couple of weeks ago saying, You know what? Let's forget about it's in the past. But if it's true that he's been scouting looking at Jovanovic, he can piss off. It's modern day football. I know managers come in and scout players from all over the place, but. Especially his old, his old stomping ground. A bit cheeky of him. Definitely cheeky of him. So, hopefully it doesn't happen. And if he was to go in the summer, it better be a decent fee. As I said, if it's, it has to be 15 plus million. And then we consider letting him go. Because that he's a massive part of our team. And that right back situation. Rosen has done a job there. But Jovanovic is the preferred option. Because he's Croatian international. As I said, 25 games a season. He can hit one as well. You look at the goal he scored before he left. Lega Warsaw. In the Europa League, one of the best goals I've ever seen. So, and he can hit free kick as well. So he's definitely not going anywhere. Let's see what happens. But it's all transfer talk. I wouldn't have done this video only for Fabrizio Romero. Talked about on his podcast last night. So there is truth behind it. Let us know what you think. Would you sell him for 15 million? Or would, do you think that's good enough? Or do, would you think he's worth more? Comment below. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll speak to you all soon. Hell, hell.